Hey, it's Nate with another piano tutorial. Today we're gonna do Just Give Me a Reason by Pink featuring Nate Roos. This song is a lot of fun to play and sing. I'm gonna teach you how to do the piano accompaniment if you wanna do a cover of it. There's a lot of little details in the piano part. It can get a little more advanced at times, but each step of the way, I'll give you options to keep it a little bit simpler and easier. Anyway, let's just get into it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna dive right in with the intro, which also is the same as most of the pre-chorus. Here's the chord progression for that, and I recommend you get the chords and lyrics chart. I put a link down in the description that'll help you follow along with where the chords line up with the words you sing. And just two big picture things about this song, it's in the key of G major, so that's all the white keys except for we've got F sharps instead of F naturals. Also, we're in kind of a slow 4-4 four, four time, so each one of these measures gets four counts, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's just start with the first measure. I'm gonna teach both hands together. For this E minor, it's gonna look like this. We've got left hand's gonna do an E, the right hand's gonna do a B, an E, and a G. That's just a regular old E minor chord that's been inverted down one. Next we've got a D major, similar inversion. Left hand's gonna play a D with the second finger, and then we've got an A, a D, and an F sharp here in the right hand. Now notice I'm using my thumb, second finger, and fourth finger. This will help it flow a little smoother with what's about to happen next. So we've got this E minor, this D major, and then for this A over C sharp, it's a little bit more bare bones. The left hand, of course, is gonna do a C sharp. Whatever comes after that little slash is the bass note. So we'll step down to the C sharp with our third finger there. And in the right hand, we're just gonna do an A and an E with the first and third finger. Notice if this C sharp was up here, it'd be a regular A major chord. So the chords are just kind of deconstructed here. To get the rhythm of this part, we need to think in eighth notes. So think about if you're tapping your foot on one, two, three. We're also thinking about where your foot goes up in between those counts on the ands, like one and two and three and four and. We're gonna start with three eighth note hits on that E minor and both hands are gonna do it like one and two. And then the D is only gonna last for one eighth note. One and two and before we on beat three land on that A. One and two and three. Final thing for that measure is we're just gonna reach up to an A an octave higher with the right hand pinky. Just the single note on beat four. One and two and three, four. Sounds great, let's do the next measure. So we're just coming off of that and we're just gonna actually drop right back into that D we were doing before. We can use the same fingers and then we've got a G over B. So that lets us know that the left hand bass note is gonna be a B. And then this is an inverted G major chord, a B, D, and G. And here's what the piano part does. One, two, three, four. So on the first beat of each chord, it just plays the chord and then it does a single note on the next beat. So on the D, you're gonna play that middle note, the D. And then on the G over B, you're gonna play the chord and then on the fourth beat, hit that low B. And just a heads up, throughout this song, there's a lot of little details like that and some of them you can definitely be loose with. For example, on that G over B, in some other sections when this chord progression comes up again, instead of going, it does, it does a different note. I think you can just kind of play around with it and find your own way with that kind of stuff. So, so far we've got, now we've got kind of a big move down for this C, this next measure. Um, our left hand's gonna come down here and do octaves. If octaves are too big of a stretch, you could always just do a single low note or high note, whichever sounds better. And the right hand's gonna come all the way down and fill out the C like that with a E, a G, and a C. And we've got C, two. Now we're gonna step down to G over B. So the left hand octaves are just gonna step down to a B. This is how this G over B is gonna look in the right hand. It's gonna be a D. G and a B. Then finally, one more chord. We've got the A minor. Left hand is gonna step down to A. And we're gonna do it like this with thumb, second finger, fifth finger on C, E, A. So the C and the A minor were the same shape for the right hand, but for the G over B, it's a little different like this. I, I might do it like that, but it's a, kind of, the shape is kind of flipped. Let's do that whole line. probably hearing it in your head the 
Ba -da 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 -da. So that's the final detail here. We can just move our hand up into like a G major position. And with our third finger on B, it's going to be B, D, B, A, G. To properly count that rhythm, you actually need 16th notes, which is dividing it again. So it's like 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a. From the A minor hitting, it's like 1, 2, 3, and 4 E and. Okay, on to the verse. Here's the chord progression. So it starts off with a full measure of G major. In the left hand, we're going to do fifths, actually. We're going to do a G and a D at the same time. One, two, three, four, five. And then in the right hand, we're just going to do a G and a B. So just these two notes. Let's look at that next measure, two. We're going to do this C exactly like we did the C in that intro section where the left hand does octaves and the right hand does E, G, C, like that. And then for the E minor, the left hand's going to jump all the way down to really low E octaves. And the right hand actually already has two of the notes for the E minor in it, the E and the G. We're just going to put our fourth finger down on B. So, so far we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right from the start, you were a thief, you stole my heart. Now we go back to C, but we're actually going to do a different inversion. So the left hand is going to leap back up to the C octaves. Again, you can do single notes if that's easier for you. The right hand is going to do this C like G, C, E for an I, your willing victim. For victim, we're going back to G, and that's the same way we did it before. Really nice use of inversions to do the two different Cs in that section, and we do that higher C when the vocal melody kind of reaches up to that I. Kind of just brings that out a little bit more and feels like it's going somewhere, getting brighter. Right from the start, you were a thief, you stole my heart. And I, your willing victim. So I added that melody there. And also, you might have noticed I did a little you willing victim. It's just a G and a B as you kind of prepare for that G on willing victim. Ling Vic. The next line is the exact same, just different words. The only difference is we're not going to do the the second time. And before we move on to the chorus, let's just add a little bit more rhythm. And this is going to be a rhythm that comes up a lot through the rest of the song. It's playing on beat one and then the and after two. For this part, it's only going to be in the right hand. And let's just do it on the G to get used to it. It's going to be one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. And we're not going to do it in the second measure where the chords switch a little quicker. The whole thing will sound like one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. And one, two. Da, 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 da. Let you see the parts of me that weren't all that pretty. And with every touch, you fix them. Two, three, four. Four. Sometimes you can just hit something on beat four too. Um, don't want to get too detailed with that, but throughout they just will like hit a random note of the chord on beat four. It kind of changes it up. Let's do the pre-chorus, which you already have a pretty good head start on because it's a lot like the intro. This is the you've been talking in your sleep. Uh oh, things you never say to me. Uh. -oh. Oh, that's just like the first two measures of the intro, except for for the second measure, it just stays on D instead of going to the G over B. And in the second half of that measure, it does that little G, D. And the second time, as you notice, it does it an octave up. You've been talking in your sleep. Uh oh. There is an extra note, just a D on beat two there that they add in, like you've been talking in your sleep to three four things you never say to me two three four now this next part is really like the pre-chorus it goes a little further tell me that you've had enough of our love our. so here's where in the pre-chorus we went to the a minor this time it's going to go to a d sus four into a d we're going to let go of the octaves here and just do a single d bass note and the d sus four is D, G, A, and then we're going to resolve it down to a D. One, two, three, four. If you want to get a little fancy like they do on the recording, you could do one, two, and three, four. One, two, 
and three, four. I'm going to play through that whole pre-chorus one more time, and I'm going to sing most of it an octave lower because it's getting a little high for my voice. Now you've been talking in your sleep. Oh, oh, things you never say to me. Oh, oh, tell me that you had enough of our love, our love. And we're in the chorus, let's do it. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple at first. First measure is a G major chord. Our right hand's gonna jump up a little bit. We're gonna do a G inversion like that. D, G, and B. And left hand's gonna do single bass notes, but we're gonna go kind of low. So your hands are like two octaves apart here. So we've got G, two, three, four. Now we're gonna step down to an F sharp for this D over F sharp. And the right hand's just gonna kind of collapse down into a regular old D major position, D, F sharp, and A, while your left hand's on that F sharp. Then we've got E minor. Left hand can just step down to an E. Right hand is going to do that same E minor we've been doing all along. And I'm actually gonna try to hit that E in the left hand with my second finger, because that will allow us to move down to this B minor. So left hand goes to a B, and the right hand thumb can stay in the same place, just kind of collapse down into this B minor here. And then we've got a D sus4, so D in the left hand, and then you can do it like we did that other D sus4, D, G, A. Just give me a reason, just a little bit's enough. Just a second, we're not broken, just bend, and we can learn to love again. And it just goes around again with different words. Um, let's add a little bit more rhythm to that. We're gonna play off that rhythm we were doing before, that one, two, and three, four. Um, I'm actually gonna add a right hand hit on beat four, so like one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, dun, dun, dun. You'll notice on the chord chart I have in parentheses E, D, C, B minor. We've got a walk down there on broken, just bent. And the rhythm there is like one, two, three, and four, and one. So it actually gets to that B minor like an eighth note early. Anyway. Just give me a reason, just a little bit enough. Just a second when I broken, just bent, and we can learn to love again. So on the B minor and the D sus4, I kind of just went to quarter notes in my right hand. But we're not stopping there. There's a really cool bass line happening on the recording that sounds like. So what really happens there is you're just rocking back and forth between the main root you're playing and a D on eighth notes like one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and just give me a reason, just a little bit just a second when I broke in, just bent and we can learn to love again. On the recording, it sounds like not always, but sometimes the piano part follows the vocal melody there on learn to love. So instead of just doing the uh, D sus4 there, you could reach up to uh, the C, B, A. I'll probably throw that in a little bit. So I also added, and this is totally optional, some chords following the walk down. So instead of just staying on the E minor while the left did the E, D, C, B, I did E minor there, stepped down to a D inversion like we've been doing there, but I did one, three, five for it. Then a C inversion, kind of like we did in the verse, G, C, E, using one, two, four there, and then stepping into that B minor. little bit tricky. I would recommend if you want to do this part, just looping that slowly to get some muscle memory going. Final, very optional, but kind of cool and fun detail would be just give me a reason, just a little bit's enough, just a second. Uh, on the, before you drop into the E minor, you can just do a little G, F sharp really quickly. One, two, and three, four. And uh, yeah, it's 16th notes. Da, da, da. I probably won't even throw that in too much. Um, here, I'll do one more run of the chorus. Just give me a reason, just a little bit's enough. Just a second when I broke and just bent, and we can learn to love again. It's in the stars, it's been written in the scars on our hearts. When I broke and just bent, and 
we can learn to love again. So right at the end of the chorus, we just get back to that same G that we started the verse with. All right, so now we're on verse two. It's just like the first verse, it's different lyrics. Um, but we're gonna just add a little bit more energy, a little bit more detail. I'm sorry I don't understand where all of this is coming from. I thought that we were fine. Oh, we had everything. So a couple things to notice. One is I'm now doing that rhythm, the one, two, and three for with both hands together. In the first verse, I only did it with my right hand. That just gives this part more energy. Feels like the song is building. I also did this little walk up in the left hand. One, two, and three, four, and. Lyrically, it's on stand where. Sorry, I don't understand where. And then all of this is coming from. Just doing quarter notes in the right hand there. I thought that we were fine. Yeah, other than that, this verse is the same. We can keep moving. So the second pre-chorus is a lot like the first pre-chorus. It's still back to that thing. Um, it just ends a little bit different. So on the kind of third repetition when we've got, there's nothing more than empty sheets between our love. So going down to here, but this time it does go all the way down to the A minor like it did in the intro. Our love, our love. And then it's going to kind of start working its way back up again. Oh, our love. So back to the C like we had it. And then we've got this G over D. R. So the left hand can just step up to a single D here while the right hand does D, G, B. Our love. And then we got a D sus4 resolving to D just like we had before. One, two, and three. Four, or if you want to just keep it simple one two three four so second half of the pre-chorus one more time nothing more than empty sheets between our love our love oh our love our love and then we're in another chorus we're almost there after this chorus which is just like the first chorus it goes directly into the bridge and the bridge starts on an E minor. We can do it the same way we've been doing. Um, I'm gonna do left hand octaves for this and just notice that that is where in the first chorus it kind of lands on the G. Uh, this time the chorus sort of ends and lands on this E minor. It sort of functions as the end of the chorus and the beginning of the bridge at the same time. So it's like from, we're not broken, just bent, and we can learn to love again. Our tear ducks and rust. So yeah, we've got E minor. I'm just gonna switch to quarter note chords in the right hand. One, two, three, four, down to B minor. One, two, three, four, up to C. Just a regular root position C, C, E, G. One, two, three, four, up to D sus4. As we've been doing it, resolve down to D, and then it's gonna repeat around uh, at first at least. I might have the left hand do the hits on the and after two just to add a little bit more rhythm. You can totally skip it if that feels hard to coordinate between your hands, but it's like one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then the second half of the bridge. Yo. So this part's a little different, A minor seven. We can keep the right hand just where it is and just go down to an A bass note for bad as, up to a D sus four. It seems. Started just doing eighth notes there, it kind of builds there. One and two and three and four. Then we've got the will come clean. So yeah, everything last I measure there, I'm gonna add one more optional kind of tricky thing, which is on the recording, you'll hear the bass kind of go. One, da, 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 da. So it's just like walking down from the E to the B. Rhythm's like one, two, and three, and four, and one. So kind of anticipating the B minor. One, two, three, and four, and um, yeah, this part, it gets kind of tricky to play and sing. I might do the walk down and not the ba -da -da -da, but if you want, you can throw it in. Oh, tear ducks and rust, I'll fix it for us. We're collecting dust, but our love's enough. You're holding it in, you're pouring a drink. No, nothing is as 
bad as it seems will come clean. Now we're in that kind of weird chorus before the final chorus where it's just drums and singing. Now that works awesome on the record, but if it's just you and piano, it might feel a little goofy to just sit there and go, just give me a reason, just to, you could do that. Or um, I'm going to just add the left hand bass notes. I'm gonna keep it really simple. At least the first time around, I'm not gonna do the full bass line with the boo -da 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 or the walk down. I'm just gonna like hold the root and then I'll bring those elements in in the second half before we get into that final chorus. I'll just demonstrate it. Just give me a reason, just a little bit's enough. Just a second when I broke and just bent and we can learn to love again. It's in the stars, it's still written in the scars on our hearts. We're not broken, just bent, and we can learn to love again. Just give me a reason, just a little bit's enough. So then we are in uh, the last chorus, uh, full energy, but it's just like we've been doing it. Then we've got the outro, which is just like another chorus, except for you're not singing all the words. It's just the... Oh, we can learn to love again. This part is kind of loose. It sounds like they're kind of ad-libbing. Um, for just a solo piano version, maybe you could even skip this section. You know, do it feels good for that. Finally, we've got the ending. It's just like the intro. I know that they hit the D instead of the B there. I mentioned that before. And then, so just like the intro, and then for this, they very deliberately, you can hear the chord cuts out and it's just the right hand and maybe a little slow down. And then you can just hit G fifths at the end. G and D. And the song is over. Okay, thank you for sticking with me. I know that was a lot. Um, I'm going to play it all the way through now so you can hear how it kind of fits together in a complete cover of the song. If you're not already a subscriber, I would appreciate it if you subscribed, hit the bell so you'll know when I come out with more videos like this. Give the video a like and let me know in the comments what songs you want to hear next. I definitely do request pretty often. All right, here's my version of Just Give Me a Reason. From the start you were a thief, you stole my heart And I, your willing victim I let you see the parts of me that weren't all that pretty And with every touch you fixed them Now you've been talking in your sleep Oh, oh, things you never say to me you've had enough of our love, our love. Just give me a reason, just a little bit, son.
clean Just give me a reason Just a little bit's enough Just a second when I'm broken Just bend And we can learn to love again It's in the stars It's been written in the scars on our hearts That we're not broken Just bent And we can learn to love again Just give me a reason Just a little bit's enough just a second when I broke and just bent And we can learn to love again It's in the stars It's still written in the scars on our hearts When I broke and just bent